Hi everybody, it's Pug Gaming here. You may have seen me already on YouTube, I create City Skylines videos with a lot of heavy detailing and visual mods. And today I am collaborating once again with Paradox Interactive to bring to you some details and tutorial notes on prop snapping by Bloody Penguin. First thing to do is jump onto the workshop and subscribe to Prop Snapping. Make sure you also subscribe to the Prop and Tree Anarchy. Now if you're unaware of who Bloody Penguin is, you clearly have not jumped onto the Steam Workshop. He has created a number of amazing mods to help this community grow and to allow us to play the game in very unique fashions. Prop Snapping is one of those mods that really does change the way you play the game. On screen now you can see what the game is like without this mod installed. So as you can see we have selected a satellite dish and we are now trying to place it and ideally a satellite dish will be on the roof of a building. And that's where Bloody Penguin's superb mod comes into play to allow us to do that. And also please note that Move It's functionality also will not work in the sense of hiring and lowering the item using page up and page down. To do this you must have the mod installed. So let's go back to the menu and click on content manager and let us enable the prop snapping mod. Load up the game and let's see how different things are now. So let's do exactly as we did moments ago. Let's grab this satellite dish and look, look at the difference as you can see on the screen. The actual dish itself is now following the contours of the item that you're running the mouse over. In this case, it's the house. So we can go right up to this chimney and place it right on there. That is sensational. That makes things so much easier. We can do the same here with lights. The lights just follow the contour of the wall itself and it just makes detailing that much easier and quicker. Now sometimes when you place down, for example, these lights, they might not be quite at the right height and moving the mouse around may not get to the point you want it to do. If this is the case, you can use the Move It Mod tool to allow you to do so. And if you want more information on this, check the link in the description below. Now to give you a few ideas on what is possible, here's a few examples from my Monaco series. You'll notice that the first screen is without the mod enabled and the second is with it enabled. So you can really see what is possible with this amazing mod and what you can do. One of the huge advantages of this mod is the fact you can raise up and down items and props via the page up and page down using the move it tool. And that really does allow you to create creations that really do come to life. For example, look at the difference this makes just by adding some tables, plants and chairs really does come alive. Now lastly I just want to run through the options for prop snapping and there's two buttons that you can highlight. These are always highlighted as standard I would highly advise you keep them like that. However let's go through which each of these do. So the top one is a don't update prop Y coordinates on terrain modification. So if, if this is enabled, this mod will prevent trees from hiding underneath the terrain when you actually elevate the terrain. If you want to lower the terrain and want the trees to load with it, you need to disable this option. If you want to completely decouple prop Y coordinates from the terrain modification and allow props to even submerge under the ground, you need to enable allow props to submerge option as well. But for now, that's all from me. I hope the video has been of some help to you. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to the channel to watch more videos like this one.